So you're going to have to include a link to your Edpuzzle video on your Padlet page. To do that, double click on your Padlet page and press the attach link button. Go to your Edpuzzle page and you'll have to log in. But once you've logged in, there is an option to go to my content. Um, I've organized my content into folders, but your video is probably not in a folder. Um, if you did organize it, go to folder, go to uh, the video you edited and put questions in, click it, and um, there is an assign share button. Click the assign share button. Go to share with anyone. Click the or highlight the link they've given you. Press control and C to copy. Again, hold down control and C to copy. Go back to your Padlet and then uh, click where it says enter URL, click in there and then hold down control and V to paste the link. Press save and there you go. Add puzzle video with comprehension questions and it's been added so students will be able to click on on that uh, link and it will bring you to this page here where they can watch it and answer the questions uh, the one thing about sharing an Edpuzzle link with everyone uh, or with anyone is that you won't be able to keep the scores that the uh, that your students um, earn um, because they didn't have to log in. You could tell your students to log in um, when they are uh, taking the, the quiz so that way you can save it. Or if the students are already in your Edpuzzle um, classroom, you could just assign it through Edpuzzle Classroom. But in this case, it's much easier for our purposes to just put the link for anyone to access.